If you knew that visiting your grandparents could change the world, would you do it? Of course you would. You'd have to be a douche nozzle not to. Hey, it's Sarah. Silverman. If Barack Obama doesn't become the next president of the United States, I'm gonna blame the Jews. I am, and I know you're saying like, oh my God, Sarah, I can't believe you're saying this. Jews are the most liberal, scrappy, civil rights-y people there are. Yes, that's true, but you're forgetting a whole large group of Jews that are not that way, and they go by several aliases. Nana, Papa, uh, Zadie, Bubby, plain old grandma and grandpa. These are the people who vote in Florida, and the Florida vote can make or break an election. If you don't think that's true, why don't you think back to two elections ago when a little man named Al Gore got fucked by Florida. I'm making this video to urge you, all of you, to schlep over to Florida and convince your grandparents to vote Obama. It can make the difference. Explain to them that we're all the same inside. You know, you could compare an elderly Jewish woman like Nana to a young black man, they may seem totally different, but on paper, they're the same. I mean, think about it, track suits. Let's start there, they both <laughs> love track suits. They can't get enough of them. Uh, what else, car of choice? The Cadillac. They're both crazy about their grandkids. What else, they, they like things and bling and money and jewelry and stuff. Uh, they, they both say yo all the time, or Jews go right to left, oi. Uh, what else? They, uh, all their friends are dying? No. No. That is true in general. You know why your grandparents don't like Barack Obama? Because his name sounds scary, it sounds Muslim, which he's obviously not. Yes, Barack Hussein Obama. It's a super fucking shitty name. But you'd think that somebody named Manischewitz Guberman might understand that. The name Barack is a Hebrew word. It means lightning. And I would much rather have a president whose name means lightning than a president named John whose name means toilet or a guy who fucks hookers. Here are some fun facts. Barack Obama's foreign policy is much more stabilizing than John McCain's and much better for Israel. He, he wants to protect social security. His brisket is beyond. It's beyond. He, he's, he's, circum, he's, circum, he's circumcised. You don't have to use facts, use threats. There's nobody more important or influential over your grandparents than their grandkids, you. If they vote for Barack Obama, they're gonna get another visit this year. If not, let's just hope they stay healthy until next year. Barack Obama is the goodest person we've ever had as a presidential choice. He's honest and he's kind, and quite frankly, he's probably our last hope of ending this country's reputation as the assholes of the universe. So please go to this website and get your fat Jewish asses on a plane to Florida. Love, Nana. Let's see, vote for Obama. Gonna visit grandmama. Vote for McCain. To me, you're a shit stain. I just made that up on top of my head. Um, yeah, I'm proud of myself. <laughs>